What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Blue Fox 22 coming at you with more Minecraft. This will be episode 54, I believe, of our modded Minecraft LP series. Today, we are going to start Evil Craft. <laughs> so, before we get into that, just a quick update as to what's going on. So, I used, uh, I believe, the last of my emeralds that I had. Um, ooh. I might have found some storage for iron ingots. Maybe. We'll see. We're at 31 out of 200. Now, I had to quickly snatch out all the redstone and the coal and the coal dusts because we were filling up. There's 5,000. <laughs> uh, 5,000 coal, about 1,300 coal dusts, and 2,600 redstone, and they wouldn't have all fit in here. This thing would have been filled up really quick. Even if I bumped this up to the 300, um, which I finally figured out how to get this to work. Um, if I had bumped this up to the 300, it still wouldn't have helped. So, it is what it is. So today, we are going to get into Evil Craft. Now, in order to start Evil Craft, you're going to need some Dark Ore. Um, what is Dark Ore used for? Well, Dark Ore is to create a Dark Apple. Now, Dark Ore gives you Dark Gems. Dark Gem, combine a Dark Gem with an Apple. It is a shapeless recipe. And you will get yourself a Dark Apple. But the first thing we're going to need before we do that, obtain by feeding a darkened apple to a mob and quickly throwing a book at the resulting anomaly. Uh, we're going to need a book. So, you know what that means. We're going to go find some cows. And get some leather, because I'm pretty sure we don't have any leather in here. Can go and check the roots hut, but I'm pretty sure we don't have any leather. So, get the ender out. Pretty sure we don't need all our mining tools yet. So, put that away. Um, let's go check in here first. Pretty sure there's not it. I don't have any leather in here. The materials in you. Yep, that's that. That's empty, so I can actually remove this chest. And this has my ca actual casting in there. Alright, so, and this should be empty, because this, the resonators I'm going to use to make some uh, coal. I'm actually going to snatch a couple of things of coal up. That should be good. And let's double check this real quick. Sorry, guys. And gals. But this should be set to an out mode. Uh, where's my. There we go. Yeah, ta! So do that and that. In out, yes. Insert, good. Extract. Yeah, so this is set for in out mode, so that's perfect. So if I throw some coal in there, eventually this will extract the coal. Our GP is at roughly 200, which I still should be able to fly. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was. All right, so um, there's extra chest. I guess I could put that away. Um, I could put that there, that there. Alright, so let's get going with Evil Craft. So like I said, the first thing we're going to need is our dark uh, our dark ore in order to get those dark gems. Luckily, we got some. We got eight to be exact. Um, and I'm going to use the crusher for this. Um, I'm going to double check and make sure that this is not outputting anywhere. Because I don't want this going into the system. Yata! I am will go over and into there. But you... Should be set to disabled. Okay, because uh, the items for this, I want to go out and over into there. I don't want them going anywhere else. Alright, so that's good. 
Um, let me break this. Could do that and that. So if you're wondering, yes, I do have the farm running. Um, Verted sprigs still aren't going over. I guess that's because they don't have anywhere to go. Eventually, seeds won't have anywhere to go. Well, poison potatoes, but anyway. Oh, I'm going to crush her. Hmm. What do we need in order to make another sack mill? Let's see. Uses for you. Okay. Well. When in doubt, break it yourself. Ha ha ha. Alright, so we have some crushed dark gem. And it's 15 dark gems. Not bad for getting 8. Uh, for 8 ore. So let's get the rest of it. Because I have a feeling those dark gems are going to come in handy more often. So this is my first time actually playing Evil Craft. So we'll see how things go. Um, I mean, this thing... It, it's a hold on guys I'll be right back actually no I'm not going anywhere cuz that was a nobody so yeah it is it seems like a pretty beefy mod um, just to see what you can actually get into so hopefully it is gonna be ridiculous for us and you know some things you know go awesome especially like dark tanks and stuff uh, wood exalted extractor there's just so much that we can do with this mod it's ridiculous hey. what the hey. <laughs> what oh birdie told me that you're dabbling in the things that are evil <laughs> what? where did you come from oh no wait just what I wanted you to again hear. oh boy don't worry brother doesn't need to know anything Oh, don't, so you're the talk, evil one. Don't speak, don't uh, interrupt. This is going to be really quick. I just wanted to say, welcome aboard. To what? Glad that you decided to join me on the dark side of Minecraft. There's always a good side and a light side to everything. Two sides to every coin, if you will. Well, my friend, this is the dark half of Minecraft here. <laughs> Is it coming from oh, a dark gem? My wicked friend, you make me proud. <laughs> You're about to be fun. fun. Why'd you say it like that? Because when you dabble with things that are evil, not everything appears as it seems. You'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You get. More questions than answers when it comes to those two. So for those of you who are new to the series, he is one of two of the troll gods. <sighs> There's the sun god and the moon god. Sun god, he, I guess, would be considered the light half. He's friendly, nice, but still is a troll. And then there's MG, or the moon god, which I'm guessing is the one who just spoke. Because usually... SG is nice. He's has an upbeat voice and cool and collected. MG's voice is usually dark and creepy. So I'm guessing that was him. And what did he mean by uh, I'll find out eventually? Things aren't as they seem? What? <sighs> okay. Well, we got some crushed dark gem. Um, still kind of discouraged by D MG showing up, but we'll ignore him for now. <coughs> so, uh, I need an apple. We do have 15 of them. So let's... Uh, whenever I use a new mod, I use the vanilla uh, Minecraft crafting bench. I don't want really to use like the crafting tables or anything. Um, 
auto crafters and stuff like of that. I'd rather just use the vanilla one just to keep things copacetic. So darkened apple. I wouldn't eat this. Maybe feed it to some animal. Okay. And we're gonna need a book. So oh yeah, let's see if there's any leather. <coughs> Stupid door. See if there's any leather in here. Can I make leather? Uh, in the blood infuser, but I don't have that. Um, that makes monster draggy. Let's see. I don't think there's any you any ways to make leather. Four rabbit hide, werewolf fur from evil grass gives you five of them. Wow. Um. Oh, drying rack, steak, cooked chicken. Um, yeah. So steak, cooked chicken, pork chops. I think we need three lever. Le lever. Yeah, three levers. But I have nine mutton, so let's do that. And I believe that's a tinker's item. Um, dried brick. Dr item rack, drying rack. And it is four wooden slabs, so that's not bad. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Okay, let's see if I have any regular wooden here. Yes, I do. Okay, that's drying rack. Sweet. Uh, might as well put it there. And was it cooked mutton? Let's cook it to be on the safe side. Um, uses. Yeah, cooked mutton gives you one leather. Okay. Uh, I didn't make the. Uh, if you caught my update video. I didn't make the uh, cooker, the, the Tinker's Construct, like the mass cooker thing yet. I didn't make that for our video, for this world just yet, but I will. Um, might as well go ahead and make a regular furnace. It's not the end of the world if we do that. And I'll put that there, and I'll store it, and I will craft one. Alright. Comes in handy when you have stuff like that. So much better. So, I can just stick this he uh, here. So, that'll be fine. And we'll just cook the mutton, and this should be making red uh, charcoal. You're not outputting. You should not be at 30. But I'll deal with that later. Today is evil craft. Still trying to figure out what he wants. It's just, that was weird at the end. Okay. If you were wondering, that was something that finished up that I was working on. <clears throat> All right, so that's three. I believe that'll give us three leather. It's three leather per for uh, a book. I don't know what's up with the tick rates for these doors. There, it's really high. I've never had doors slam on my face before. All right, so if we do this. Staff of Acceleration. Oops. Let's see if this helps. Uh, 
Yeah, it's at like 2%. Oh, 3%. So what I'll do is I'll wait for this to finish up, and I will be right back with you guys. Because uh, the Staff of Acceleration does not work on this at all. So instead of boring you, well, I'll make another... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I should be back. I'm waiting on the last leather. It's taking forever. While that's doing that, let us go and process some sugar cane and make paper. I didn't think it would take that long, but boy, is it taking forever. It's been about... I say 15 minutes for me. Like I said, it's taking forever. It took 15 minutes for two. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, and that was me using the rod, rod of acceleration. So, 8 minutes, 30, 30 seconds drying time for that. That is just really, really long. I'm better off finding four rabbits <laughs> next time if I need to make anything else. Um, I should make some paper. Okay. And to get a book, let's see. Book, 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 book. Buriku. Oh, three paper, one leather. I'm dumb. We got our Boruku. Um, I will just store it. Now, you're probably wondering what this is for. This is just miscellaneous storage for me. Um, for things that... I don't know what that's going to be good for just yet. 16,000 burn time. Wow. Alright. So, paper can get stored away. That can get stored away. Yetter wrench can get stored away for now. The rest of this can go like that. Mm, shut up, gut. Alright, so, let's go find an un unsuspecting animal, give them this really f***ed up apple, and see what happens. And of course there'd be a cow out here. Why wouldn't there, why would, why would, wouldn't there be a cow out here? So, in the video, well, the preview that I saw, they gave the apple to a pig. Well, I'll just feed it to them. Got it! Oh my. That is awesome. So, we got raw beef from that. Got the leather. Nice. And we have the Origins of Darkness. Well, I've been flipping through this book for a while, and... Every now and then it seems as if there's voices that just come out of it. I don't... I don't understand. It's... it's weird. Ugh, did it again. I don't know what it is, but... It's freaking me out. But anyway... Uh... Let's flip through this book some more, figure some things out, and then we can go on more to figure out some really cool things with Evil Craft. I'm really interested in some of the items for it. Um, just mulling over the book and stuff, I noticed some really interesting things. Uh, just, you know, apparently this book is, was split into two different sections. I, I don't understand why. This book is uh, doing it again. For two ages at least, one page I like to classify as a classified. I consider everything in the form of my things in this world as this first page. That my life's work, my second way, my second way, my second way. You can navigate to this book by clicking this book with arrows. Shift clicking or shift clicking the whole section of the section of the pages of the stage of the section is the content table which will contain hyperlinks, hyperlinks, special title, magic, 
to its subsection, its subsection, its subsection, and you come across this, and you come across this, I don't know if that's what I'm saying, this book, 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 this Oh, it's just, oh, it's finally gone. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh. Maybe MG's right. Maybe I should leave this stuff alone. Oh, you know what? We already took the cork out of the bottle. What was I doing? I had my glider on? Alright, we already took the cork out of the bottle. I guess he was reading off the things to do with it. <sighs> Alright, so... Let's, uh... Go for the first age, I guess. Uh, Alright, so let's see, um... We have the a Strange New World introduction, Dark Ore, which makes sense. I mean, we do need that. I kind of jumped the gun on that one a little bit. But, uh, let's go to that. Yeah. The first age. Ah, I did it again. Ah. It's like a jackhammer to the temple. Alright, so... You already know about Dark Ore. Uh, this world is filled with all sorts of resources. <sighs> this I have known for a long time. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa! So, yeah, that's a big glitch that happens every now and then. Good way to sneak and see where kind of... where the minerals and stuff are is in the world but um dark block is nine gems oh, I'll stop doing that dark brick is a dark block surrounded by stone bricks um darkened apple we already got that well caving I occasionally encounter these grim rooms with blood spread all over the floor these Blood traces are probably caused by the battles of previous explorers with the countless mobs inhabiting the dungeons. Dark temples. Uh, sort of leather containers. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so. Pretty much. Ugh. Pretty much know a lot about that already. So we'll. I guess we'll pick some items and stuff and go from there. Uh, Biome Extractor, Poison Liable, Werewolf, and Netherfish. I've discovered several... I have discovered ah, several, several strange, 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 They all give off some eerie vibes. The longer I'm around, the longer I'm around, the more I feel a kind of it. Not all of these things might be very useful right away. But I might have some I might have some I might have some I might have some Alright, I recovered some. Let's see, what uses can we use of the dark gems? Uh, blood extractor. Oh, this applied disabled. Spike, quite clear glass, and dark gem. Um Purifier, Disenchanter. Looks like these are going to be some pretty complicated recipes. Sort of thunder, biome extractor bottle, weather container, eternal weather bucket, dark stick. Huh. 
Well, this blood infuser looks really important. So let's see what we need in order to make that blood infuser. That enchanter. That blood... Let's see, um... Purifier, Spirit Reanimator, Book, Blood Chest, Evil, Exalted, w Wooden Crafter, Empowered, Wooden Exalted, that's not too bad, well, Wooden Exalted Crafter, let's see what that's all about. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just gold, iron, and that dust stuff. Um, do have this. Do I have any iron on me? Yeah, iron, gold. Um, a chest and a crafting table. So that's not too bad at all. I don't have any actual actual regular wood in there, so let's see what we got in here. Yeah, we got some some wood, not a lot. Let me clear this real quick, and we will make an actual game. Wooden chest store, and I'll make one of those. And I need a crafting table isn't hard. And I'll store that. I'll craft one of those. Okay. Um, we'll go in here and make it. Whoa. Okay. So, just that. Power crafting. So, can I place this down? Oh! I can just play, I can just use it myself. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty, pretty awesome. So, we have a portable crafting table. Um, and then there's the exalted one uses an ender chest. Okay, so environmental accumulator. Resonator, furnace, okay, okay. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, the other thing I want to see, blood pearl of teleportation, environmental accumulator core, Spiky claws. How do you make the spikes? Dark gem and iron. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that is three spikes and a piece of iron. spiky claws. <laughs> okay, effective against soft materials. So I'm guessing what, people? So I'm guessing this is a weapon. So let's see. Mr. Sheep? Whoa. Wow! That did three hearts of damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, got wool from that. And we got something else, which I don't know what it was. But we'll find out, I guess. Alright, so this is a pretty nice weapon to have. Alright, sweet.
spiky claws. Nothing is more annoying than swapping tools around when trying to break blocks and suddenly having to fight incoming mobs. Combining some spikes allows you to break almost all soft materials very quickly. At the same time, any mobs that come creeping by will also be attacked with sufficient power. Yeah, I noticed that. Potentia Sphere. Combining several shiny mundane items will result in a sphere that seems to possess some awesome powers. I might discover a way to harness these powers in the near future. It looks like the power can be inverted by using some dark gems. Interesting. Inverted Potentia. Potentia. Uh, it's inverted potentia, but it's looks like it's been empowered. Dull dust. Combining some sugar and gunpowder will result in a weird dust that doesn't seem to be very useful at the moment. Hence the name. Although this might change one day. Hmm. Okay. Some people might find regular glass too bright. Combining some glass with a dark gem seems to make a special type of glass that almost completely reduces the amount of light that gets through. I'm still able to look through the glass though. Very strange. It's almost like what one of those magic mirrors. Okay. Dull dust. Okay, so then there's a the dark tank. Using some iron gems and a piece of glass, it is possible to construct a strong container. It is able to that is able to hold fluids. It is possible to place these tanks somewhere or hold all them in your inventory. Okay, so it's a tank. That's not bad. Okay. Display stand, exalted crown, display stand. This small block can showcase your favorite items and blocks. Access fluids from any side which with which it will attempt to fill the items with that fluid. So what was about that spike plate? If I put it on Uh, damage to the power. Some spikes in place will be result in a plane which will control damage while we're walking. And then my peers don't seem to take damage to that. Spike deplete. Hmm. Well, that says something about putting it on a pedestal or something. Okay, very sharp and durable, but mobs don't seem to do very much. Okay. So, this seems very interesting. Um, definitely going to give this mob mod a look, a look-see, a look-over, um, to figure out what more we can do with it. So, according to this, this lets me dig soft objects, so I'm guessing dirt. Yeah, dig dirt pretty fast. And it also gives me the option of attacking mobs too, so let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit faster than punching. So I'd say this is about up there with wood or stone tools. But it also gives me the benefit of being able to attack mobs that sneak up on me. So if I'm sitting here, and, you know, digging dirt, and then boom, mob shows up, I can whack it to do pretty decent damage. I mean, that's three hearts of damage, so... Something to laugh at. And we have the plates as well. So, like I said, I will definitely look more into this, figure out what we can do to continue on from there, and go from there. Monster egg. Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Evil Craft. Sorry for, like, the weird spacing out. It's just this headache won't go away. I don't... I think it's from the mod? I just... Every now and then, thing 
just feels like there's voices that just come into my head and they just won't go away. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Um, you know, I, I'm here to party and have fun so we can enjoy new things. Um, especially new mods and stuff. Um, so, as always, I'm your host, BlueFox22. Hope you enjoyed the video as always. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, as always, tell your friends about me, tell them what, my, what I do, tell them what the channel is all about. As always, stay safe, stay as healthy as humanly possible, above all, stay foxy. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And don't do nothing crazy, okay? Don't do nothing weird, and don't do nothing strange, because... I'm Batman. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.